sort of glimmer mm. of the Jaws shark in order to grab public attention these days. That's so interesting. But is that does that feed into what Flick was just saying about it being a popularity contest? Well, that's what politics is. That's what elections are. Uh, and I hate to break it to Flick, but, uh, but, but, but that is basically... Democracy. Well, I mean, I think uh, I, to... I think Flick was talking about you know the, the last couple of years where it seems to have been a revolving door of of popularity contests. Well, I mean, you know, parliamentary politics is about getting elected, so there's no way around that. You know, you, know, you can be sort of um, technocratic about this, but you won't end up with many votes. You've got to try to um, mainline into modern British tastes mm. and. That's 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 quite, what it's all about. Yeah, quite, quite, I'll come to Flick in a second. Quentin, you were saying something about her. The words she uses were a bit elitist. Can you give me an example? Well, yes. She, what you, if you, I, I, I can't remember the exact words, but I've listened to her in select committees. Okay, she's talking about trade deals. It's a very technical world, mm. but she does it in a way. Um, she sort of plays back the language of the politician class, and she doesn't put it in a way that might make sense to people on the doorsteps. And you've got to. If you're, I, I think if, if you're going to really appeal, you've got to speak the language of breakfast television rather than Westminster. That's interesting. Flick, what do you think? Well, I think it comes down to whether we think populism is a good reason to vote someone into power in Downing Street. I mean, if you look at populism across the world, Trump is the you know, the king of populism. Was that a good idea? Will it be a good idea? I don't think so. Um, I think we should... It's an obvious thing to say, of course, but I think we should be looking at the policies behind the person, not whether the person has charisma. And Quentin's right in that that's what people tend to vote for. But that landed us with Johnson. It's landed America with Trump. You know, it's it's caused all kinds of trouble across the world since we began to find charisma more appealing than policies and run with that. And I think we may need to pull back a bit and say, hold on a minute, you know, is this a serious person? As uh, Logan Roy would say, I love you, but you're not serious people. You know, are they serious enough to be a prime minister? Can they represent us on the world stage and, and make us not die of embarrassment is, is my key question. Really. I guess, though, for all the for all the point there, it's a very good point, Flick, but Quentin, look at who's, look who's leading the parties into the next election. There's not an awful lot of jaws about any of them. Rishi Sunak, <laughs> Keir Starmer, Ed Davey. I mean, that's the very definition of a club of technocrats. That's not the glimmer of excitement or populism. It's the, it's the, it's the mirror opposite of that, isn't it? What do you think the turnout's going to be? 50%? I don't know. Oh, do it's going to be think, miserable. Do you think it's going to be a miserable election in terms of turnout? I think it will be, yeah. Unless, you know, something fantastically exciting happens. Mind you, if they hold the election around the time of Trump, then that might uh, that might stir the teacup a bit. Well, what, I'm interested in your thoughts on what would happen if Trump's elected the week before. What do you think? How do you think that will impact people's voting intentions? I think it'll probably help Starmer because um, the uh, British public, um, or quite a large part of the, the, the British public that votes, would be scared of Trump. My personal view of Trump is I, I think he's a lunatic. Uh, but he, he's a very arresting lunatic and uh, he's a very effective campaigner. And it's terribly patronising to say that um, the, the, the choice of the people um, must be um, become subservient to what is sensible. The choice of the people will be the choice of the people and you have to cope with that.